Hello students, so today I'm going to discuss about the preparation of media, one of the media we used in laboratory microbiology, my, microbiology lab, that is the SDA, subrodextrose agars, agar, sorry. So uh, this SDA media, it is mainly used for the isolation, cultivation and maintenance of non-pathogenic and pathogenic species of fungi and yeast so these this is the plate where we grow the yeast or the fungi in the sda plate so after the incubation period you can see all this growth coming out then before moving on to the steps or the procedure how to prepare this media we need to know the composition so what are the ingredients given to make this sda media so the ingredients includes dextrose which is uh, 40 grams, myco mycological peptone 10 gram, then agar 15 gram. Then we need to check the final pH around 25 degrees Celsius. It should be around 5.6 plus minus 0 0.2. Then this all this formula should be adjusted, standardized to suit the performance parameters. So coming to the steps or the procedure how to prepare this media, SDA media. So we need to suspend 65 grams in 1000 in ml of purified distilled water. It's not necessary to prepare, to prepare exactly 100 ml but it depends on the amount that how much we need. Suppose if we need 500, we can prepare for 500 ml or 100 ml. We can measure accordingly how much we need for 100 ml. So out here, I'm giving the example, suppose if we need 65 grams in, suppose if we need to prepare 1000 ml, we will need 65 gram of the media. Then after we prepare, after we measure the media, we need to uh, boil or to heat, eh, to heat or boil in order to dissolve the medium completely because sometimes this uh, media might form clumps where it doesn't dissolve properly. So in order to dissolve this media, we need to heat it to boiling. Then after that, we will go for autoclaving. Why we do this autoclaving? It is for the sterilization. So we sterilize by autoclaving at 15 LBS pressure at 121 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. Then after 15 minutes is done, we will take out the media and cool it to 45 to 50 degrees Celsius. After it is cooled down, when it is touchable, we will mix it well before pouring into the petri dish or petri plates. This plates should be sterile. Okay. Then after that, what is the principle behind this test? And as well, we will see the interpretation. So the principle of SDA media, it is Carrier's modification of the formulation described by is a modification of SDA which is described by subroad for the cultivation of fungi like yeast, moles, which is particularly useful for the fungi associated with skin infections. We can do it with other infections as well like hair, nails and other uh, specimen, but mostly it is for skin, uh, skin infections. This <clears throat> medium is also employed in order to determine microbi microbial contamination which is found in food, cosmetics, and cl clinical specimens. Then, uh, what is the function of all these ingredients that we add in order to make this SDA media? So, we have the mycological peptone, which provides, the, which whose function is to provide nitrogenous compounds. Then, we have dextrose, whose function is to provide energy source. And we have agar, which is nothing but a solidifying agent. Then the high dextrose concentration and low pH favors fungal growth and inhibits contaminating bacteria from test samples. Then to the, coming to the limitations, sometimes uh, the sample might be highly contaminated or heavily contaminated. So for this purpose, the plate must be supplemented with inhibitory agents for inhibiting bacterial growth with lower pH. Then sometimes this pathogenic fungi may produce infective spores 
which are easily dispersed in air. So for this reason, the examination should be carried out in a biosafety cabinet in order to protect ourselves as well as the uh, environment around us. Then for further uh, confirmation of this, to check the sterility of the media or to check the fungi or the yeast, molds, whatever growth we got after the growth, after we grow this fungi in this SDA media, we can further confirm the test by doing biochemical tests. Then we need to know the, especially it is very important, this part is the quality control. We need to check the media, SDA media, subgrowth dextrose media. We need to see the appearance, how does it look, whether it is, after preparing the media, whether it is matched with the quality control or with the uh, color that we are supposed to get and all these things we will check so the appearance of this SDA media it, it appears as cream to yellow homogeneous free flowing powder then the gelling it is firm comparable with 1.5% agar gel then the color of this media and clarity of the media that we have prepared it, it should be light amber colored clear to slightly opalescent gel forms in petri plates. So that's all about the preparation of the subroth dextrose agar media which is mostly used for the growth for the growth of fungi yeast molds. Thank you.